Good afternoon and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here is Steve Kuzma. Um, I'm doing uh, painting demonstrations and also uh, showing a few samples of my work. Um, and what I want to focus on today are winter scenes. And if you look closely at, at this particular painting that I started um, quite a while back, uh, and it was painted on location during, just after a, a, a huge storm, uh, winter storm. And um, I wanted to show this only because that if we're seeing something very beautiful in front of us, um, I tend to focus on getting the spirit of the drawing first, even if I'm not able to complete it later. So... Uh, what that means is that um, I, I will take a watercolor and I will do some brush painting. And you can see the, the tonality of subtle brush, wet and wet techniques that are almost like um, uh, oriental brush painting uh, techniques uh, I, I use to start this kind of work. And it also then later builds up into texture and I use other uh, materials over it. But it, it starts as a watercolor, is what I'm trying to say. And um, so uh, I wanted to just show you a close-up of the brushwork so that one can see um, the kind of the intricacies that make up the whole painting. So um, again, this is a, a winter scene that I started uh, quite some time back, and uh, I've been finishing it this week. Uh, during this cold weather that we've been um, having as we go into winter. Um, this is now third week in January. So uh, this is also inspiring the mountains. Um, in winter, a lot of times uh, uh, people will enjoy going into the mountains, maybe winter sports or skiing or hiking. And again, I wanted to show how that brush line is used sometimes on the surface and sometimes underneath like over here you can still see the white of the paper and over here i have uh, surface areas that are uh, i'm trying to say the pigment is on the surface uh, of other paint so you can see this texture the white of the paper right here and then some tonality and then there'll be uh, watercolor underneath and then builds up with complementary contrasting colors over top to complete a uh, large painting like this so again I'm, I'm showing samples of these because um, I, I'm, I'm just inspired to show this theme uh, today uh, using the brush painting techniques underneath with the white of the paper and then how that will build up on the surface. Now, I, I one day will do a whole demonstration of how I start that. Um, again, I start uh, light, very light uh, complementary colors that build into darker um, textures with watercolor and then I go into water mixable oils, pastels. And as you can see, this is a watercolor paper. It's still the white of the paper on the top here. And then I focus in on all the texture work. And you can see, you do quite a lot in, in the layering process. And then I, I finish with some oil base, wax glazes. Um, I'll show like on the brush I have right now with me here. Um, I'll I'll put a maybe a wax glaze for the highlights. Pick up some of the highlights here. Um, also, what I do is I polish that wax glaze when I'm finished, and uh, it becomes um, uh, quite a beautiful uh, finished uh, painting uh, once all is all is layered in. And an example of that wax glaze uh, here, I can show. Uh, a painting here there where I had put in some pastel and then what I can do is 
put in the wax glaze um, over it so it will pick up it'll pick up the um, I can actually seal the the pastel layer and then it would also blend uh, the colors underneath it so that's uh, a technique that I, I've been enjoying working with uh, is the, the wax glaze and um, and under that of course this is a mixed media work um, it's actually a print base it's not an original so if you look closely these are this one is very different from uh, the others that I was showing uh, before those were originals all the way through so um, again this the same idea I can take it this is an original here I can pick up the highlights and and uh, you can see there's almost like a, a, a glow like a rainbow type of glow on this painting here and this is complicated abstract it's probably uh well it has a story um it's really a base of a redwood tree and it's abstracted and filled by filtered light going through the forest so a lot of my paintings will focus on that filtered light one other painting here um wanted to show a little bit before i finish this video is in completion um Framing is important, and the presentation of that uh, work of art is, is, is important. So in this waterfall, I chose to make a frame that is uh, stained uh, to make it one unifying piece. So, the, so in here, the, um, the waterfall where the water is will uh, be echoed in the mat and in the frame outside. So... Just wanted to give that as an example of how presentation is also very important. Um, that kind of, it's a short video, you know, I'm just kind of uh, doing a short video on, on this theme today. Um, and I invite you to uh, subscribe to the channel, come out and visit the gallery at the Arts Garage in Atlantic City. Um, or make an appointment to see the studio, the work, new work. I have a lot of new work in my studio, and uh, I'd ha be happy to share it uh, with you. Also, my website, artofkuzma at zenfolio.com, or uh, just Art of Kuzma or Steve Kuzma, and uh, some of that work will come up. I think it's online, different places. So thank you uh, for viewing this uh this little little youtube video and um there will be more posted so uh happy painting and um i hope that some of these things were helpful in your painting journey